Den här sommaren upplevde världen nya globala värmerekord och värmeböljorna satte många samhällen under hårt tryck. Och det är stor skillnad på förmågan att kunna skydda sig, inte minst i Coachella-dalen i Kalifornien, dit vi ska nu. Det handlar om de som har råd med rent vatten, luftkonditionering och skuggande träd och de som inte har det. Tillgången på rent vatten är avgörande för att kunna hantera värmen, men problemet för många fattiga i Coachella är att deras vatten många gånger är förorenat med det giftiga grundämnet arsenik. You can't bath, you can't brush your teeth, you can't cook with the water because of the high levels of arsenic. The water is like really contaminated or something. I showered, I would come out with like red rashes. Like you would feel like ants are crawling over you or something. Once you still heat up the water, it usually like sticks against like against the wall or some shit. So If we do see that going on, we just nah, don't even give the water a second thought. The water is contaminated. It also sometimes it does uh, start smelling a lot, like Clorox. I'm guessing that's because when they try to clean the water tanks. My dad would say that um, his lungs were hurt too much when he would drink water. Now, even though I would tell him, or we would tell him, don't be drinking that water because it's contaminated, all that. Even knowing that, he would drink it and he would say that his, his chest were hurt, his lungs were hurt, um, that sometimes that he, he, felt, he felt like he needed air. I guess he, he couldn't breathe right. He would feel like throwing up. He would feel nauseous and throwing up. brush your teeth, you can't cook with the water. Technically, you can't do anything with the water. So normally, I would go through six or seven of these. Yeah, and how much does a bottle like that cost? At a store, I would say like $2, like $3 per gallon or so. Yeah. So it means it would cost you $16 for six or seven of them. For a shower? Yeah, technically. That's a lot of money. Yeah. When we could be saving that money to move to a better place. Yeah, it's a lot of money. With this weather, you can't even go outside. You stay inside. Even if we stay inside, we start sweating. It's hot as fuck. So we just go shower again. That's our last hope or our last resort of showering. Stay cool with this heat. If it's really too hot, I start bleeding from my nose. So that's how I know, like, oh, okay, you know. With that, having all the airs on, just to stay cool off in this heat, the rent goes all the way up, so. That could be a problem too, you know, because sometimes we can't like pay it off then and there, so we would have to like make payments, like little by little. If we don't pay on the day that the rent is due, um, like say the next day, they'll charge you 20 more bucks. And then so on, so on, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20 until eventually it just gets like, oh, you, we can't even pay it off anymore. There's an increasing recognition that climate change is real. But alongside of that is the recognition that equally real is the climate gap. That is, that some communities face much higher risks from climate change. A hotter environment because of a lack of tree canopy, parks and cooling stations. 
Yeah, they call it the American dream for a reason. Honestly, I've been making myself that question, like, since I was small. Like, people come here seeking a better life, better future for them and their kids. But I don't, I don't know anymore.